What's up guys, welcome back to Nuts and Bolts Auto. And today I'm gonna to show you guys how to use a cooling system pressure tester to test out the cooling system for any leaks. This is the kit that I'm gonna be using. It's the radiator pressure test kit from Pittsburgh, from Harbor Freight. Looking inside the kit, you have these different adapters for all different kind of cooling systems, different radiators, different hookups. And then here's your actual tester, this one. What it is, is, well it's got the attachments right here, but this is a little pump, and if you look at it right here on the gauge, you can pressurize systems up to 35 PSI, and you pull the plunger, and it starts pressurizing the system, and you can watch the needle to see the drop, and if it starts dropping, well you have a leak. So, I bought this tool because I originally saw a leak right there at the heater bypass valve. It was leaking quite a bit, but once I replaced that, then the leak kind of moved on somewhere else and came over here to the radiator. Basically what happens with this kind of stuff is that um, since it's a pressurized system, the weakest link goes and that's what happened here. First that failed and then this failed over here. Anyway, so after getting those two things sorted out, I just drove the truck around and I saw that I had a leak somewhere right around here on the radiator. Now it wasn't a consistent leak, it wouldn't happen all the time, it would only happen overnight. Like when the truck was driving, it wouldn't leak. So what that was telling me is that maybe while driving the truck and it got warm, something like sealed up or it had enough pressure or heat that the plastic would, like in this case, the plastic would expand and hold itself tight. And then once the, the car cooled down, the plastic would relax and probably leak through. That, that could happen. In this case, it was a radiator, it could happen in any hoses. Basically, the cooling system pressure tester is there so you can test the cooling system without having the engine warm. And that allows you to diagnose these kinds of problems. Anyway, to get started, you wanna see which adapter it is that you're gonna need. There's all kinds of different adapters. These go over where the cap would go. Well, all these go on the, on the radiator cap. Some of them screw on. Well anyways, to get started, you want to make sure that your vehicle is cold. You don't want to do this with the hot engine because if you open this while it's hot, all that pressure is going to escape through here and it's going to blow up right in your face. So make sure that your system is cold and then you can remove the cap. With the cap removed, you can look over here and see what kind of fitting it is that you're going to need. Also, now that you've got your cap, you want to take a look at it because most of the time they're stamped with a number. In this case, you can see that the number is 11. So that means that this is gonna be pressurized up to 11 PSI. So looking over here on the gauge, since that cap says 11 PSI, you wanna make sure to not go past 11 PSI on the gauge, because once you do, then you're going over what the system is designed to hold, and you could start blowing seals, gaskets, all kinds of stuff. You could break the radiator. Just be careful not to go over. Now, there are some vehicles that are gonna go all the way up to 35. That's a whole lot of pressure. So you gotta be careful when using this tool. So I've already found that the adapter that I'm gonna use is the number 16. You can come over here, make sure that these little notches fit in where the cap would go. You line them up, push it down and twist it just as if it was the cap. Now that it's on there snug, you can put the tool on there. So as you can see, the tool has a little bit of pressure inside there. And that's good because you can test the tool itself by pressurizing it and if you see that the needle starts dropping by itself without being hooked up to anything, then you have a leaky tool and it's not going to help you at all to diagnose a leak. So I don't want to put this on there pressurized. So to let go of the pressure, right here on the tool it's got this little button. You press it and that just let go of the pressure that was inside the tool. As you can see. Now it's at zero. To get it on there, you just pull back on this little sleeve and pop it in. Now that it's on there nice and snug, then it's not gonna fall off. Now you can start pressurizing the system. So usually when you're using this tool, it's because you don't know where the leak is at. So you wanna make sure that everything is clean. All the fittings, all the areas around there are clean and not wet. Right here at the connections for the hoses as well. You want to make sure that the whole area is free of dirt and grime and anything that might cover up a leak. So with everything ready to go, now you can start pressurizing the system. And remember, you don't want to go over what the cap 
states. Right there we're at about 10, which should be fine for a test. You want, you'd want to hold it there to make sure that you don't have a big leak. If you see that this needle starts dropping immediately, you have a really, really big leak. But most of the time if you're using this, it's because it's a small leak. So now that it's pressurized, you can go ahead and look around everywhere to try to find the leak. So there it is, just a few seconds later, I can see that the leak is coming from the radiator. And you can see on the gauge that it is dropping very, very, very slowly. But I can see the dripping, so we're all good now. I can release the pressure by just pushing the button. And now you just remove the tool, push it down, pull the sleeve back up and it comes off. And then remove it just as you did with the cap. So there you go, that's how you use a cooling system pressure tester. And again, in my case, I already knew where the leak was. I just did this more to show you guys how to do this in case you have a more difficult leak. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and replace the radiator. I already have that ready to go. And if you'd like to see that video, I'm gonna try to link it up here as well. With all that being said, I hope you guys liked the video. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those other goodies. Thank you.